What is up everybody, it's me again, Mike the Beast. And uh, before we start this video off, I'd like to say that my friends on uh, Every Real Life in school, he yeah, actually did a shout out on my channel, so that's, you, that's cool, you know, I got myself some few more subscribers. And I have full monetization for most of my videos, except the ones I got copyright striked. Anyways, let's get right onto the thing I was going to talk about, which is dislike botting. I absolutely fucking hate dislike botters. Like, for example, um, my friend's not really friend. I know him on YouTube, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, Zydus, as he as used to be called, or Isis Relax, whatever, anyway, whatever he's right now. I believe he's like SC Films or something. He's had uh, quite a experience with YouTube, but hey, I don't really give a shit. As long as he does what he wants to do, what he likes to do, I'm fine with that, you know? Anyways, so he has been getting dislike botted recently, which I think is absolute bullshit. I don't know why he's being dislike botted. Like, what? Like, he's actually gone, gone so far he had to, like, fucking take down his channel ratings, like, so you can't see if his videos dislikes or likes. And, um, I think that's pretty bullshit. Bullshit if you ask me like what Ugh. and I think I know why people have been dislike botting him and I think it's because of how um his Like he keeps deleting his videos he used to do commentaries, but well that was a bit too boring for him So I mean I completely support him. He can do whatever he wants to but So because he started doing different videos people have been dislike botting him like oh fuck you man You're not doing commentaries anymore. Fuck you. I'm gonna dislike bot you and that's, you know, that's bullshit, of course. You shouldn't do that. Because it's bullshit. Like, actually, honestly, what is there a good reason to do that? Think about it. You're literally ruining his channel for no fucking reason. He's probably going to start a new channel soon, to be honest, no, knowing him. I actually don't know him, but he probably could. Because so many dislike bots, man. And plus he has shit tons of inactive subscribers anyways, which he also was talking about. But this, is, this video isn't about, uh, you know, inactive subscribers, it's about dislike bots. Which, uh, I hope I never get, first of all, let's say that. I hope I never get any dislike bots, because if I do, I'm gonna fucking go batshit crazy. And, um, yeah. Anyways, that was a quick little rant about dislike botting. Now, let's get to the actual video. So, yeah, this video is a cyberbullying ad that a lot of people have been like reviewing recently and you know I'm really an original and I can't think of my own shit so I'll just react to it to you know up onto the bandwagon or up onto the circle jerk you know it's called the cyber bullying virus my phone's fucking vibrating I swear it's gone if it's you again Marshall well Marshall just sent me a notification for YouTube so you know that's nice I had to restart that a little bit anyways this is called the cyber bullying virus because we all know cyber bullying is a virus that spreads like you know Ebola and shit right right no A new virus, unlike any other, has infiltrated schools through social media. Oh my god, what is it? Is it Facebook gonorrhea? Is it fucking Twitter AIDS? Mate, is it YouTube cancer? Oh wait, that's already on this channel. A pandemic. Holy shit, hate just posted a message. Like if you wanted to be honest. P people still do that. Oh, wow. Also, what the fuck is her face? Look at that. She literally, she honestly looks like what I would think hate looks like. She looks like she hates someone. She looks like she's about to go on a fucking mass murder. She looks like she wants to make fucking Sandy Hooks an accident. Because that is the face of a fucking serial killer if I've ever seen. Quickly spreading around the world. Its origin is- Holy shit, they left a negative comment. It's certainly not what you expect from a literal, to be honest, you know. So what the fuck is this? To be honest, you're so, so annoying. Get to life. Rate double zero zero. That's four zeros, man. Like that we're not friends anymore. Dislike that to sit beside you in class. Ha ha ha. Also, I'll... did they use proper semicolon usage? Also, they used the wrong your. Anyways, uh, I need to stop being a grammar Nazi and get back to the video. Yet to be known, however, individuals with a history of negative and violent home environments are often more susceptible to contraction. This girl has been infected. Holy shit, this girl is YouTube AIDS. Oh no, wait, she's just a cyberbully, never mind, scrap that. 
She is now host to the virus and risks spreading it to anyone. I have to give her credit for saying Lamal. I just have to. Lamal. Like, that's the last thing you'd expect from a fucking idiot. It's like, Lamal. Every post the host makes and every text she sends exposes the virus to multiple people instantly. Oh my god, so you're telling me if people watch this video, they will also get YouTube AIDS. Guys, guys, don't watch this video. Click off right now. You're gonna get fucking YouTube AIDS if you carry on. What you do? This is your choice. You're doing this on your own risk. It is highly contagious and no one is immune. Well, apparently no one is immune except the people that are being bullied. Because that makes sense. Well, so how old is this video? How, how long was ago was this made? What is this Twitter theme? Holy shit, I just realized this video was made in 2013. Oh my god. What the fuck? This is an old video. But some individuals may suffer more greatly from its side effects. I swear to god, if she kills herself, I'm actually going to take a fucking knife, shove it down my throat, set myself on fire, walk into a fucking science lesson, and just constantly bang my head on the table. I'm actually gonna fucking kill myself if she does that. The virus has chosen its victim. Okay, it doesn't seem like she killed herself yet, but I guess YouTube AIDS have chosen its victim. Here comes the fucking SWAT team coming to you know, save your hostage. What the fuck even is this? Also, what the fuck is this extremely ominous, like, heartbeat and ambient music in the background? Like, what- like, I get it's supposed to be a bit tense, but why is her heart beating this? Carriers of the virus can be the least suspected of people, and may even be unaware of their own infection. Oh my god, she's using her phone in class, she's a fucking cyber bully! Only people in my squad would, would get that. Or maybe other people will, because- yeah, it's a long story, I'm not going to explain it. No one, not even this girl's parents and teachers, are aware that she is carrying such a deadly disease. Well guys, that's it. I guess I'm a fucking cyber bully. <sighs> I guess, uh, yep, I guess I'm a fucking cyber bully now. Or maybe I just don't know, I'm a fucking cyber bully. I go around telling people that their willies are rubbish on the internet. Fucking your willy is rubbish. <laughs> Strains of this illness can be transferred by phone, email, and social media. Through wireless and satellite transmission, it can reach you at home, at school, or anywhere. The effects of the virus can take hours or days before getting out of control and causing serious damage to its victims. Okay, this is a pretty serious video, but I'd like to ask, what the fuck is this face? <laughs> what the fuck is it? The virus feeds on those who are vulnerable to feeling emotions of hate. I love how it just says hate, it's gonna, like, it's such a tone, it sounds like it's gonna continue, right? No, it's just, just, just hate. Anger. Oh no, never mind, here come the other fucking emotions. What is this, inside out? Envy, insecurity, and peer pressure. How long of a space do you need in between words? You're not a fucking toddler, are you? The effects have proven severe and could cause emotional scarring, creating long-term symptoms of depression and, in some cases, suicide. I told you it was gonna be fucking suicide. I fucking called it. I called it a few minutes ago. Fuck you. Fuck you, video. Fuck you. 
But there is a way to fight against it. Holy shit, we can fight against the YouTube AIDS! Let's do this fucking YouTube army, let's fight against the STZs! Yes, here comes courage, here comes compassion, here come all the LGBT fucking inside out characters. Okay, what the fuck is this, is this status? Jane Doe is a hoe! Sounds like something you'd say while you're having a fucking stroke. Get help. Yes, because reporting slash marketing spam always does a lot. It does as much as the fucking report abuse button on MSN. That doesn't do shit. Oh my god, I'm actually done. Fight the virus. You can put a stop to it. In support of Pink Shirt Day, join the battle against bullying. Write in pink to prevent further outbreaks of this pandemic. That face when you're actually colorblind and you can't see pink. Anyways, that was that video. I fucking hated it. Like, I get I was trying to get a good point across, but the way they did it is absolute bullshit. The acting was shit. The editing was awful the fucking it was just cringe like oh my god what like fucking hate anger compassion fucking hope it's the fucking lgbt fucking what's the inside out squad i fucking called it anyways you know like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video you know we, we, we could maybe get a like on this video maybe even too like oh my god that'd be fucking hardcore parkour right there and, I don't know, comment fuck you if you're part of the, what's, the Inside Out LGBT fan club. Anyway, see ya.